Hello guys, so we are back again to another tutorial and I was uh, I was just, uh, I don't know, kind of motivated or inspired to make a tutorial on how to make a, a beautiful circular image, you know, is used on a lot of social medias, you see. So I wanted to show you guys how to make a social media kind of a circular image in Flutter that would look so nice and appealing to the user. So this is all the project we're going to use right now. There is just a default code here. I have this image here. So this image is called profile. I'm going to copy it because this is the image I'm going to use. I'm going to make it a circular image so that you guys would see how to do that. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to create um, uh, an image folder in my project. I'm going to create an image folder here. So I'm creating a new folder. And I'm going to call it um, images, you know, this is how you put an image in Flutter for those of you that don't know how to do that. So I'm going to paste the image here and the image is called profile.jpg. So the image is there. And the next thing to do, you can see the image. We're going to add this image now to our project by going to the pop spec file. So this is the image here. I'm going to use it. So we're going to go to the pop spec file. I'm going to add this image here. So going down to the pop spec file we see the image we're gonna add it so we go to the assets we're gonna um, i'm gonna remove this comment here i'm gonna remove it so we add the asset here so doing that you see okay let me you should be careful the number of spaces you keep normally it should be two spaces one two and then there should be one two two spaces from the left or else it will throw an error so now I'm going to get rid of this because we only have one image, so we don't need two. And this image here is called the profile.jpg. That's what we want to add. So I'm going to get this out. I'm going to write here profile.jpg. It's the profile.jpg here. So I'm going to um, run the pop get to install this or to uh, save the changes I just made. So now we have the image we're gonna use. This is gonna take a while, but gonna, so we have to wait. So the pop get is running, it has run successfully, successfully here. Yeah? So now the next thing to do here is to, um, let me close this. And I'm also gonna close this. And I'm going to go to my main.dat. See, my main.dat, we have some default code here. I'm going to get rid of all this code that we see here. And then inside here, I'm going to create my own class. And I'm going to call this class, it's going to be a stateless widget. I'll call it the body class. So I'm saying the body, body class here. All right, so I'm calling here the body class. And this is the class that will contain the image. Right now we have a container. So I think I should run this now so that you just see how the code looks like. But it should give you a black screen. A black screen because we don't have a scaffold and we don't have a material app. So I'm going to wrap this container here inside the material app. And also, I'm going to wrap this this should be a home not a child you know the material you have a property here called um the home and then i'm also going to wrap this container inside a scaffold scaffold so inside the scaffold here i'm going to wrap this container i'm going to have a body okay so we run the app and this is how it looks like now. So we just have a center widget inside the container and in this center widget, we're going to have, first, first, let me put an app bar here. So I'm going to give it an app bar and also I'm going to give it a title. So the title is going to be a text and the text is going to be a circular circular image 
So now V we're gonna give it a style and we're gonna give it a, a text style, a font size and color. So the color here is gonna be white and the font size is gonna be twenty point zero. So if I run the app, if I hot reload, you would see the circular image there. So now the next thing to do is to add my image to the screen. So I'm going to do this inside the center widget. I'm going to do, I have a child here, I'm going to give it a container. So the container now will have a child and the child here would be Let's give the container a height and a width. So the height here is going to be 70 and the width here is going to be 60. All right. So this is going to be a decoration. And again, give it a box decoration. So it's using this decoration now, we can decorate the container like we like to do. We can decorate it. So we're going to decorate it now using a box decoration. So a box decoration is going to have a, sh a not really a shape now. I'm going to give it a, let's give it a color. The color here will be, uh, let's use blue. That's blue. Okay, see so we hot reload the app now. You're gonna see the blue. Oh yeah, that's it now. So the container comes out. It's a blue rectangular box. You see, we're gonna put the image inside this blue rectangular box. So to do that, to put an image in a container, we use a, not a child. We use a, what do you call it? We're gonna use an image inside the decoration. So it's gonna be a decoration image. You see, an image decoration image. So, this decoration image here, we're going to have a, a property inside of it. So, this property is going to be an image. We're going to call it extract image resource or extract um, asset image, I mean. So, the extract asset image, we get the image that we have inside the project directory images. We're going to get the image that we copied and pasted inside the image directory. So if we how to reload this, you're gonna see the image will show. So let's see, we're gonna hot reload and you see the image is out. This is the image here. It's a very small image. So I'm gonna increase the height, I'm gonna increase the width. So if I hot reload again, you will see. It. So this is the image here. It's coming up. I think the size should increase a little. Okay, yeah, that's it. But now, if you check the image, it has not occupied the whole container. It still has some spaces. So we're gonna use a property that we're gonna use to make it occupy the whole size of the container. So that property here will be called the fit property. So we're gonna say box fit. I'm gonna say fill. So we're gonna say box fit dot fill. So with this property now, the image is going to occupy the whole size of the container. So I'm going to hot reload this and you've seen that now you see it occupies the whole size of the container. So the next thing is how do we make this circular, you see? To do that, we're going to have a shape inside the decoration. So the shape will be a box shape dot circular. Dot circle, I mean. So if you check this box shape, it has a rectangle, it has a circle. So if you want you to give it a circular shape, use the box shape dot circle. So this automatically will make your image circular. So now you see that's wonderful. That's lovely. You see it's beautiful. So I guess this is all you guys want to see here, but we have to make this more bigger. We're going to increase the height and the width to 200. So if I run the code again, you see it increases. So the next thing to do 
is to uh, let me give this a box shadow to elevate a little you know i want to give it an elevation so we do that using the box shadow so the box shadow we're going to give it a color and a radius i'm going to give it an offset property so the color we're using first of all is going to be blue you're going to see the blue in the box shadow and then we're going to give it a radius that radius we're going to use four so the radius will be four and also we're going to give it an offset so the offset is going to have a four and five inside of it so that way, if we hot reload, you would see there would be an elevation underneath of the container, you see. So now that is how it looks like. You see the blue elevation under the container, but that's not nice. I want to use a black elevation. So I'm doing that now. And you see if I hot reload, it's going to be a black elevation under there. So this is wonderful. So you might want to use this in your apps and this tutorial is going to help you do that. So subscribe, like and share the video if you want to learn more about Fluta. So see you guys in the next video. Thank you.